hey guys welcome back again I'm MJ in this video I will show you how to flash or how to update ASUS BIOS by using easy method so in this video I'll show you how to update your ASUS laptop BIOS setting by official so let's see watch this video very careful and follow the instruction very careful open any browser open the Google and in the Google just type laptop asus global and open the first link there should be asus official link okay open the first link and here click on services select support okay now select on laptop here you can see the laptop click on laptop okay here you need to provide your product service if you don't know product ser series uh, just select all but the model number is a must if you don't know model number check on your laptop back side or uh, it should be in front side so my model number is x540 sa so where is it you can give it the keyboard like type x it will redirect to all x series laptop x540 sa come on yes i got it so select your product like this s48 sa this is my product model number okay after this click on driver and utility okay here we got uh, the option you can select bios and primeware okay so here you can see the BIOS available but before doing this you can uh, do one more thing uh, you can choose your operating system it give option like uh, select your OS but I take other because I don't know in the future which operating system I'm going to install so I take others and then click on BIOS and firmware and here it will show you a latest BIOS update okay these are 3.4 these are latest BIOS of my laptop okay so download it download the latest version okay so it's a very small file size okay click on download it's only around 4 MB I think that's it so the download file will be in zip format you need to extract this just right click on this file and extract you will get this type of one file now you can delete this zip file this is the main file okay so now you need a pen drive of FAT32 formatted so I'm using FAT32 pen drive go to property and check it out look at that so the must and should you need to FAT32 pen drive if your pen drive is a NTFS then you need to format your pen drive with FAT FAT32 okay so if we have NTFS then go to format pen drive and choose FAT32 default and then format your pen drive okay after you choose FAT32 now simple thing is copy this file and paste into pen drive that's it now attach this pen drive to your laptop and start your laptop and then press escape button I will show you how to do it don't confuse I will not make you confused just turn on your laptop and keep pressing escape button you will get the boot option okay here so we need to select enter setup so use your down arrow key and then select enter setup and hit enter okay done uh, you will get uh, this type of screen move to sorry my camera is moving I don't have right tripod right now so sorry for this so go to advanced and then select the start easy flash so select the start easy flash then hit enter okay so do this very carefully okay so your pen drive must be attached so here here you can see it's showing the BIOS and my current version is 300 okay now select FSO so 
in 99% cases the pen drive name must be FSO so select FSO and then move to next section by pressing left arrow key or right arrow key like this now select your file it shows your file name like 304 is my latest BIOS so select the file and hit enter select it ok 304 is a model number 540 so select it this is a file from pen drive so it's showing the pen drive file select the file and hit enter it's showing do you want to update BIOS ok so before this I will show you my old version 300 is old 2016 and 304 to the 17 is my new version ok so now simple thing is select the yes and hit enter ok that's it now relax it will take uh, less than 5 minutes I think yeah less than 5 minutes to flash your bo uh, BIOS setting and it will update the new BIOS of your laptop ok it's programming so don't disturb your laptop now let it to do its job ok ok then I think ok now system start your system and then press uh, escape button now let's see whether it's updated or not go to setup and here you can see it successfully updated 304 304 is my latest version that's it it's very easy and uh, follow the instruction very carefully uh, do it on your rigs so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe thank you very much